Listen, I'm back with the vlogging. It's happening. And starting it off with a lovely week, Carlin Purcell and Saran are planning the intro for this new Goddess Circle event that Carlin is having right now. Uh, so people are going to be coming shortly. The room is set nicely, beautifully. And then in the end, we're going to ask them to actually set one bold goal as well. So, um... Set a bold goal. Yes. Hi, it's dark, it's dark, but hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Beautiful. Okay, Hi. what's the purpose of today? Today we're talking about um, mastering your emotions, but giving people the skills for them to actually do that so they can make better decisions in life. Amen. Can't wait. I'm looking yes. forward to this. Much needed. And what are, how are you helping here? So I'm just doing a little bit of an intro and just talking about what people might be struggling with and what they're celebrating and integrating that feminine um, creative energy and, and how to use that. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, awesome. Do your thing, ladies. We're at the Spoke Club right now. Uh, and yeah, looking forward to, to reconnecting and getting down and dirty with our feelings, emotions. It's that time. We may not want to think about fall and holiday stuff, but a lot of the PR companies are doing previews. So basically, the brands that they represent, they are doing, oh, and look who's here, the Chantel. They do a little preview to show you what's coming up for fall so that you, you're you always ahead when you're blogging for lifestyle or fashion or beauty or whatnot. So this one is for ACI, that's the distributor, and it's hosted by Overcat PR. So I'll show you just sort of what's happening here in the room. But it's always good. I haven't been at to one of these in a little while and I've been kind of in the bunker getting down but awesome cool people here Karen from Health and Wellness and talking about you talking about you and Chantel here as well so yeah it's just a cute little room I'll show you some of the products here people are teaching kind of what to expect from this new stuff that they have for fall and also for holiday as well. I'll show you some of my faves including Stila that now they've just done so many more colors for different skin types and stuff which is always a good thing for somebody like me. So I'll be show you now. So today I have to do a, um, a self tape for an audition so I have to record uh, a, basically it's a, a, an anchor role for a show a web series actually and I got to do a little tape today so that's what I'm doing I'm also recording some other videos for YouTube so it's a very video heavy day Anika Elliott ambition talent five six as the war in the Middle East continues to spiral out of control and the middle crisis, three, two, one. 
I realized that there are not a lot of cool patios on Bloor West Village. It could be such a good opportunity yeah, yeah, right. to have more patios. Um, so there's Yellow Griffin, but we don't eat a whole lot of meat burgers anymore. There's Queen's Pasta, where we are right now, where we love. There's, there used to be this one named Villa, but it's now Away, which is a vegan restaurant that I've been trying to get into. But they, I don't think, use their patio. There's Mackenzie's or whatever it's named on the corner there. We need more patios, more patios, more patios. But yeah, this is a little Wednesday evening dinner. I want to see what I'm eating. I'm not going to show you who I'm eating with. Because he's shy. He's a very shy person. To be honest, I always have the black and white fettuccine pasta, the shrimp, but today I'm having the angel hair pasta with smoked salmon or something. I'm trying something different. Okay. Um, I'm at Colette, just hanging out, and Cara Donnell is here. Hi, guys. <laughs> We've been talking, social media, WhatsApp, wanting to meet you on this but now we're actually getting to do it. I get to meet the superstar, guys. Oh, okay. this, this superstar, this mover and shaker, I'm obsessed with her um, Insta stories and all the stuff that she's doing. Where are you off to? What are you doing next? So, next trip is New York, Labor Day. We'll be out there for AM's event, bus head tour, um, a couple of things happening out there, and then Kara Loves Kids. Don't forget, we're always about yeah. giving back to the kids. Kara Loves Kids Charity Drive is running until the 28th of August. If you want to get involved, just check out at Kara Loves Kids, send me a message, and I personally will get back to you. Yes, please. I know. I put it out, and I was like, shit, I have to bring you something. <laughs> In an ideal world, I was like, let me bring like some stuff for the children. But yeah. I didn't reach Louis. I didn't reach like a Staples or anything. But it's okay. You give me money. That's fine. You can sponsor a child. Right? Yes, you can sponsor a child. $20. $20. Just take it out of your lunch. You know, cook one day and just use that $20 and exactly. give it to the kid. I feel like you're talking to me. Cook one day. <laughs> I cook like three days. And that's not bad. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost half. So we need to cook? I do. What? Mm, what is my favorite? I love steak. So steak and I do like a stir fry with potatoes and onions and tomatoes and stuff. But I travel all the time so cooking is not really it's working hard. out. <laughs> what is your go-to travel item? What do you always have to have with you? That's a very good question. Um, honestly my notebook. Because, yeah, it's weird, but I have so many things going on in here that I need to always keep track of my life and what I need to do. So I feel like I'm lost without my notebook but, and obviously my phone. <laughs> yeah, because you get a lot of inspiration when you're on the road. Yeah. Like stuff just comes to you and like, you know. Yeah. And a, a picture of my mommy, brother, dad, and grandmother. That is always in my suitcase. Oh, so, <laughs> family. So family. Okay, that's Miss Kara. Miss Kay's. Miss Miss Kay's? Yeah. Kara Kara Danelle. Danelle. Not Danielle. <laughs> Not Kiera. Oh god. Danelle. Kara Danelle. Real, real communications. It is time to talk about fall people. I know, I know, I know. But we can do fall, we can do holiday stuff. And you know I talk about tonic blues all the time. It is. Are you still seeing that? Flower delivery, like the Uber of flower delivery. Oh yes, Miss Corey. Yes, Miss Corey. The Uber of flower delivery. Yes, that is part of the two-hour on-demand delivery. Uh, anywhere in the GTA, uh, we got we got your back. Yes. If we get a birthday, an anniversary, or just those, just because. We just launched yesterday. Oh my this goodness. Is called, this is called the Sunny. The Sunny. A lot of people think sunflowers are a summer bouquet, a summer a summer flower, sorry. Um, but they're not. They actually carry well into the autumn. So it's Definitely. actually really nice. It's a, hot, it's a happy bouquet. If you're kind of sad that summer's over, then this is a good option. It's a sunflower, too. yeah. I like that a lot, actually. This is not launched yet. This is coming soon. Tonicblooms.com. Um, it's beautiful. We always try and offer um, one more traditional, neutral, white and green. So this is your white and green traditional bouquet, but we added a pop of color with it at the end. Pop it. And, pop that color, girl. That you were just squatting on the potty. Yes. I was just telling you that I'm so obsessed with this obsessive pooping Right. Well, who doesn't like to poop better, right? Healthier, happier. So 
Essentially, anatomically, we're designed to squat to eliminate. That's the way it was for millennia, right? Until the advent of the modern toilet, which is all these great things, but it has one major fault. It requires we sit when we're designed to be squatting. So the squatty potty brings you back to your roots of squatting, which is actually healthier and more anatomically correct. You get more complete elimination. Complete elimination. <laughs> yes, it's all about the elimination. So it's, I'll show you. So okay, let's, let's show us. Demonstration. Elevate your feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. My pupil, my pupil rectalis muscle is totally relaxed, and my colon <laughs> is open. So <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> ready for that. Wow. Well, I hadn't had a chance to say hello all day today. Um, I was on set today. Um, I have some lovely pimples here, here, here. Always when you need to be on camera when the pimples come out. Saran would say that's because, you know, it's and you're anticipating you're doing a forward facing something and so this always happens. But I really I'm afraid to show you anything about what's on what I'm doing on set. This was for Designated Survivor, but they're very strict about well I don't know, I have to sign like a big thing about social media and stuff and a lot of the shows are like that as well now. So you I just don't wanna be you know do too too much of anything but it was really cool uh, as always and fairly quick as well so it's good that you can do some stuff it's a friday you come home now we're gonna eat some remy. indian food no. oh remy remy going to a baby shower it's a gender reveal party and a baby shower all right together I was super late with actually picking up the gift. So I um, had to run into, well, I ordered the thing online at Babies R Us, and I always go to Sherway. I've probably been to that Sherway Babies R Us location, I want to say maybe 10 times in the last two years, and twice in the last month. And they need to get their act together. There's always like they don't know if the thing is in stock and they don't update their registry quickly enough. So let's say I looked on the registry and a certain gift was available to purchase. And you go there and they didn't update it. And I live very close, so it's not gonna take a long time for me to get there. So was not I just don't I just customer service, which is always like relax, you don't need to be stressing, but it takes people's time and energy. This time I ordered this thing online and I said, I'm gonna pick it up at the store. And I said, is it available at this store? And it was like, yes, this ish is available at this store. And then you're supposed to get an email to say, yes, girl, go, you come pick that up. You come pick that stuff up, girl. And then I got an email. I was like, okay, okay, it's time for me to pick it up. And it was like, yo, it's been canceled because they lied about the availability of the flipping thing in stock so i said oh lord okay let me go i'm ready late everybody don't buy up everything on the, the registry so went to babies r us and i said something let me just ask if perhaps they have this item that i originally wanted to purchase and surprise surprise they do have it in stock i don't know who sent the eat what happened but it happens a lot at Toys R Us, at Babies R Us, at Sherway Mall, in Toronto, Canada. Call somebody, tell somebody about it. There are bigger things going on in the world, I know, but I'm a stickler for customer service. And that is all, but happiness, joy, going to this baby shower for Nikki and Greg. But I just wanted to tell you that. Bye. Well, she we'll say hi for first. All set up I know, for you. we're at a shower. This is Auntie and Uncle, I think. Yes. Yes. What are your names? I haven't even met you yet. Auntie Vet and Auntie Uncle Brent. Brent. Uncle Brent. Brent. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Um, yes. What are and your wishes? Your and Nika. Hello. And who is this? I'm Janelle. Janelle. And I'm due about a week apart from the guest of honor. Oh, really? A mm -hmm. week apart? A week apart. There's so many kids and young people here and babies in general. Yes. You know? I'm going in I feel like I shouldn't. Um, I feel like I shouldn't drink oh. the water here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's like, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Get all it's up coming over the creek. <laughs> I guess, I guess. I would like nothing well, more than an Anika and Victor baby. You know? We, but knowing us, it'll be around the same time. Yeah, oh it's yeah. Happen. We're it has besties. to. Because then we, our kids will play with each other and then we won't have to like make friends with random Just like you people. and Nikki. Yeah, we didn't yeah. want to. Yeah, you're besties. Well, well wishes for Nikki and Greg. <gasps> we wish you guys all the best. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. Yes. And so excited. How are your girls? Um, I'm team girl, as you I, can see by the beads. I so Nikki wants a girl. Uh, that's right. But I'm feeling boy. team boy. I see. Okay, I just got a vibe. I just got a vibe, and I was just like, bam, girl. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll We're meet gonna her find out just now. like momentarily. We'll meet her just now. Hold on. Not yeah. her. Nikki's gonna come over. Well, I'm just girl? saying. Here she is, Mama to be. Looking glorious as ever. Yes. Okay. Virgin drink. Virgin. Oh well. You know, it's 2017. I don't know. But how are you feeling? I feel amazing. I feel so loved and so grateful that all my besties and my family are here celebrating this wonderful day. Baby Alexander. We'll find out soon if it's a boy or a girl. This is so such a blessing, and we wish we're so excited for you. We wish you nothing but excitement. Excitement and it's things are gonna be awesome. New yeah. adventure, new phase. Look at you, you're a big yes. woman. You're like an adult. I am so adult right adulting now. She's adulting. Jesus. Okay. Family bubbles. Oh. Okay. Yay. Hello. It's Sunday. I just did my Facebook live every Sunday morning at 10:15 on Facebook dot com slash the NAK Elliot, which is my Facebook page. I do a Facebook post. I use this mentions app. Wow, that's so bad. But it's a certain app. A, uh, verified pages have this certain app. So then you go on, you press this thing here, and then it can show you what she wrote. Why isn't it? Okay, so this is the whole feed of people who are live right now. And then you could press go live, Anika. And then I did that. And then this is my video that I just did. I talk about my digital detox and whatever. And then some people ask questions. It's always interesting. Some topics are more engaging than others. A few people comment. Some people just really want to listen for two seconds. I get a lot of people watching after the fact. And then people comment because they think it's still live. There's the thing that says it's ended, right? I believe so, because then sometimes I wonder if I'm not clicking on something correctly. But anyway, I just did that. Um, I have to eat, because I often literally just roll out of bed. I wash my face, I brush my teeth, I do the show, then we eat. So probably gonna have some rolled oats. We know we don't have any fruit anymore. It's like the end of the week, so all the fruit is done. I have some grapefruit, that's kind of nasty, with old, rolled oats rolled oats and yeah that boy the raisins done too so we can't put that in there boy we gotta go to the grocery store but my building is having a farmer's market something something so we're probably gonna go down there a little bit check out see if i could get some fruit maybe for my rolled oats and yeah then gonna go see some family the fam jam later which i will show you peace Peace. Peace. Yeah, How cute is this? A little farmer's market at our building. Remy's here. All the little doggies are here. Oh shit, what was you Okay, we're gonna need to do this. Forget my oatmeal. We're gonna need to just have waffles today. But there's also fruit. I'm cutting off people's heads because I don't really want to like. So I know I said we we're gonna have rolled oats, yeah. but a waffle is so much better, right? Look, look, look. Cream. Fruit and cream waffles from the Waffle House. Who's? Mm. Blueberries. Wait, I want to see. Yay! Thank you. His brother-in-law works for GMA. But was Michael Strahan there? Was That's your That's what it says because That's when his sister was. 
He wanted us to come for like oh show. We want this but story. there's no way they're gonna open. They were gonna get up that that so early, right? Exactly. So I'm eating my pillow. Sorry. Anyways, um, so he said if we don't make him show, come down so he can show us the studio and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's sad. He she, she's like, he's like, he's like, he's like that's what Michael Strand said. So. You know, I'm a Today Show person. So I don't. Who else is on the GMA? Um, the woman with the short hair, Ro Robin. Roberts. Robin Roberts, right? Oh yeah, she's on that too. She's yeah. GMA. I don't even remember who else. Oh, so cool. Well, we could have gone to see a live show. It will. Daddy, happy, happy birthday. What is your birthday wish for I, the I, world? I, I, oh, the no, world. I don't know. Just what I was telling my, my birthday wish is for her to be nice to your brother. I'm so nice. And be brother. good. See? Yeah. For your children to to get along and be nice. Yeah. That's yeah. all he wants that's for his how, birthday. That's you know? all I want. I said we don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to go. But we still went out like Moxie and Nate. Yes. And, that's and, that's that's and you went to New York. Yes. Yeah. That was a wonderful that trip. Was a I've good been trip. here before, but I've never been into to see places, the Empire oh, State the Building, stuff. And go, to, and go to Rockefeller Center, and, 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 you know, all this kind of tourist thing. And I did that, and, and it was good. I really had a, a really good time. Awesome. Really nice time. Yay, Daddy. So next time, Sherry and I are planning to go, but we'll go by ourselves and leave the kids at home. Leave the chair at them. <laughs> yes. Right, Malik? Highlights and lowlights from the trip from New York. And they had this nice chocolate. It's how we have it in Canada, but like I had it in New York. And you were like, wow, yeah. this is the place to be. Like Fine. Like okay, okay. Let me ask. And where? It's a nice shopping. Oh, I know, it's true. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never been to New York, so I don't so even know yeah, what. what it's, it's which is really sad. I've been to I Buffalo. I've been to Syracuse. Briefs. What else was good? I hate it. Right, right, and That's okay. Right. Um, just swimming. I mean, not Let's see. No, just paint it. Just paint it. Well, there. there was okay. I'll look there. There was this store. Mm -hmm. It was a candy store. Oh yeah. Yes. They had like the world's largest gummy worm there. It was like this. What? Long. They had a gummy bear that was like two pounds, and at the Hershey store in Times Square, they had the world's largest Hershey bar. And they had these Reese's cups yes. that were two pounds, two pounds and a half. Oh my goodness! I yeah, love that y'all cool. went to New York City, one of the greatest cities in the world. And is the chocolate all you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's what, good. What happened to the Statue of Liberty? Oh what? yeah, we went to Statue of Liberty. It was pretty cool. We went on like the island part, and we took like we this to Ellis Island. Ellis Island. Yeah, I went to Ellis Island. Oh, I took a bunch of these pictures where like it looked like I was holding it. No. Yeah, like what? Like I think you're the first person to do that. Like yes, you put your hand yeah. there. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we'll have to go together at another point. Yeah, we should go together. Totes. That'd be fun. Totes. Totes. Okay. Peace out. Peace out. Bye.